Hey basketball coaches and basketball players, my name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training and today I'm going to give you some fantastic competitive basketball drills that you can run with your basketball team. Now, if you would like, make sure to stay tuned for live basketball training sessions. I will be doing those periodically over the next little while and maybe forever. I'm not too sure just yet, but we will see how everything goes with this whole coronavirus thing. So if you think that your players that you're coaching right now may, or you have coached in the past, may be able to... Uh, watch or may enjoy watching and following along with those live training sessions make sure to send them uh, my videos that I've been announcing anyways I got to show you these drills because they're absolutely fantastic and I know they will really help your basketball team okay so first we're gonna have the coach he's gonna be underneath the net a bit behind that though and uh, we're gonna have two lines so there's different ways of running this basically I like to have it so that my bigger players on are one on one team and my smaller players on, are on the other team just to make it competitive between bigs and smalls um, you can do that or you can just kind of change it up maybe starters on one team and bench on the other it, it depends but anyways we're gonna have two lines and the coach he is going to roll the ball down the court meanwhile the first player in each team is going to chase after that ball and once the first player gets it, it's going to be he is going to be on offense and the other player who did not get the ball is going to be on defense. So now it'll be one on one. If you would like, if it's an older age group, you can keep it to maybe two, three or four dribbles. If it's a younger age group, then you may just want to have them let them play. It's totally up to you. Uh, personally, I, I've only really coached grade seven and older. And at that age group, they're able to say, okay, well, I only want you to take three dribbles and attack the basket. And then they have to take up a shot. Another really fun drill to run is having 10 players. You can, again, sort them out by having starters and bench. It's up to you. You don't have to do that. But we're going to have two circles of players. We're going to have an inner circle and an outer circle. The inner circle, they're going to be running in one direction. Meanwhile, the outer circle is going to be running in the opposite direction. Now, from there, what we're going to have is the coach. He's going to throw up a shot, and they're going to be boxing each other out. So we're, we're going to have blue boxing out, uh, red boxing out. We're going to be having a whole bunch of players just boxing out. And let's say blue gets the ball. Now we're going to be running in transition. The defensive team goes down towards the other side of the court. Blue needs to be outlet. We have th player three going outlet, and then we have two players who are leaking down court. Player one is going to try and get the outlet to player four. He's going to be looking down court for players five and two. Uh, generally, that's how a fast break would work. But um, I would then, on the other end, say, okay, if blue scored, they get the rebounding point. They also get the scoring point. And we can run this back and forth down the court a couple of times. And basically you can say, okay, well, we're going to have one team, we're going to have another team, and we're going to say if you get the offensive or defensive rebound, it doesn't matter. If you get a rebound, you, your team gets one point. If you get a basket, that's two points. And then we'll get down to the other end. We'll run the same thing. And again, whoever gets the rebound gets another point transition basket gets a second point and we can play up to 11 we can play up to 21 it's totally up to you another way of running this same drill is not having the circles running but instead having a shell drill and having the players pass the ball around cut through uh, like we've all seen the five out shell where we're teaching a def the the man-to-man -man defense if you don't know what it is let's get down to the clipboard really quickly and i'll explain so a shell drill would be when we have a ball, let's say player four blue has a ball, uh, this player is going to be one big step away, which is one big, one big pass away. Same here, this is going to be two big steps away because he's two passes away. And then we're going to have the weak side player three, he's going to be down in the block. Technically that would be three passes away, so one, two, three big steps would be just at the, the block on the key. And what we're going to have is these players passing around. And now, let's say we pass back around, passing around, and then we say shot. Well, now the shot is up, 
and now all of these players have to be boxing out so instead of having the two circles we can run it that way it's totally up to you again but there's a couple of different ways that you can run it at least so this next drill is a lot of fun at the younger age groups um, but can be a ton of fun as well with the older age group so at the younger age group you can say okay player you can call out the numbers player five runs up whoever gets that ball first goes one on one towards the basket and then let's say blue scores then the blue team gets a point however at the older age groups they tend to get bored with this drill so there's a way of navigating our way around boredom with the older age groups and that is by having the coach right at the point and what we're going to say is all of these 10 players they are going to be on their bellies on the floor along the baseline and now when the coach blows his whistle or when he says go they're all going to be scrambling towards the key trying to box out players on the other team meanwhile the coach is going to chuck up a shot hopefully he misses i know every time i try to miss a shot it goes in so you're going to try and miss your shot and when you take that shot they're going to be boxing out let's say we get blue getting that rebound we want to have an outlet player and then we want to have two players who are then gunning down court so we have player two and one is outlet player four can make a decision meanwhile these five players would have already been on the court and now they're running in transition down towards the other end. So again, that secondary play that for the older kids is very similar to the one with the circle that I just showed you. But for that younger age group, that's still a ton of fun to run. Now you're probably saying a few of these drills we've seen in the last few days because you were saying the fun drills. Well, I personally find fun drills as being competitive drills. Sometimes I will even get into the games uh, with the players and so that I can get some exercise, but also it's just a lot of fun. And you can have games like this next one where you as the coach and your coaches can get in because it's an individual game where each individual player has their own skills that they're trying to master, but also trying to take out other players at the same time. And of course, everyone teams up on the coach, and I've won quite a few times. Uh, so it's a lot of fun, especially if you can handle the ball. So let's get down to the clipboard. I'll show you this next drill. So this next drill, a lot of older uh, team coaches don't run it uh, often at all. I don't understand it. Uh, every single player, every single team I've ever coached loved this game now this is called dribble tag dribble tag is the greatest basketball game of all time now what we're going to have is each basketball player has a ball if you want you can be the coach and you can also have a ball as well and believe me coaches also really like playing this game especially if you're an assistant coach and you just want to prove your point to players um, but basically the idea is you've got the perimeter and that is the out of bounds line and the each player is trying to protect their ball from getting stolen or protect their ball from getting knocked out of the boundaries now when they start getting knocked out and there's fewer fewer players you can have them stick inside of a key and then they can still try to knock each other's basketballs out once it's down to two players i like to get them inside of that circle and then just overall it's a ton of fun and this is a great game to run if you've got maybe two minutes left to practice, you got nothing else better to say, uh, the plays are all finished, they're all understanding and getting the plays, and you just want to have some fun at the end of practice. This is a great drill to run because then you can say, hey, the, the player who wins gets to decide which drill he wants to run next practice. And that's just kind of a nice incentive uh, for players because then they get to understand the drills because maybe one day they'll become a coach. Uh, but maybe they just really like a certain drill that you run and they want to make sure that you get that drill going. And you can say at the last two minutes of the practice, hey, everyone grab a basketball. Let's run some dribble tag. Whoever wins gets to decide one of the drills that they like to run. And then... Uh, that player can come in next practice and say, hey, let's do full court layups, or hey, let's do dribble tag again, or hey, let's do whatever. And it, it just makes the, the players feel like they're part of the team even more. Plus, I find it's a lot of fun. And I'll see you guys later on today for the second video of the day. I hope that you have enjoyed.